In Vegas Pro 17, click a Timeline Clip Events hamburger button and choose Event Length from the menu to show a dynamic event length indicator in the event header. You can even edit that field to change the event's length. Hold the control key while you drag most sliders and controls to make fine adjustments to their settings. Double click most sliders and controls to instantly reset them to their default values. Expanded edit mode shows you a two up view of event pairs and an AB timeline for a more detailed view of your edits. To enter into Expanded Edit Mode, press your number pad's 5 key. Hold the Shift key and drag across any automation envelope, like Track Volume for instance, to draw the shape of the envelope freehand. Select multiple events and change the fade in or fade out of any one of them to change all of them simultaneously with the exact same fade length. Point directly at an event edge and right click to access the fade type menu directly instead of through the expanded context menu. Select more than one track header of the same track and adjust controls on one of the tracks, for example the volume control on an audio track, to adjust that control for all of the selected tracks simultaneously. Hold the control key as you drag a window into the window docking area in order to dock it into the area. Drag a tab in the window docking area left or right to reorder the windows in the area. Hold the control key as you drag one floating window on top of another floating window in order to create a floating dock that contains both windows. Use the right mouse button to drag a video file from either the project media window or the explorer window to the timeline and access a context menu that enables you to add just the audio or the video portion of that file. 